All right, are we live? I think we are. Aaron, can you just give me a quick ping to let me know we're good? We're live. Awesome. Uh, thanks, everybody, for jumping on today. Uh, my name is Steve Forkham. I'm Director of Program Management here at Scipio. We've got some really exciting news uh, to share. Uh, yesterday, we made a uh, product launch or a partnership launch, and um, we want to talk about it. So what I'd like to do is invite to the stage uh, my guests today. We've got Don Marie Elder. She's the Chief Operating Officer here at Scipio. And uh, we got Ted Stuchberry, Director of Cloud Communications for both pre- and post-sale. Welcome, guys. Thank you. Hi. Good morning. Hello. Exciting days. We, uh, we launched a new program yesterday, uh, Scipio Operator Connect for Partners. Oh and this one's a little bit near and dear to my heart. I, yesterday was a great day because in an industry where I've seen our partners getting just hammered, you know, the, the momentum is dying in the UC space uh, from the, the steam that built up during the pandemic is obviously dissipated, if not all disappeared. And now as the economy's tightened up, commissions are starting to get cut, more hoops and hurdles are put in front of our partners. And here we are expanding access to a growing marketplace. You know, Microsoft Teams phone in the last uh, quarter at least grew 45%, you know, uh, year over year. I mean, this is an right. incredible market to jump into. But the problem was it was always kind of complicated to do, right? You know, Don Marie, you talk about the, the boxes and bodies approach that has typically been the the default for folks with that. direct routing, right? <laughs> yeah, I should trademark that or get it um, quoted like a Winston Churchill quote of, of some type. Yeah, exactly. And you know, it's it's complicated, it's difficult, it's slow. You know, generating quotes can take a couple of days because you got to get pro services involved. You got to figure out how to configure everything. Uh, implementations take weeks, if not months. So here we are opening up Operator Connect to deliver speed, you know, it's fast, it's easy, and it's flexible for our partners because they can generate quotes in minutes, as they're going to talk about in a minute. Yep. They can activate new service and write almost instantly, and it's flexible. You can right. add, you know, more services. You can expand your sale. You can empower your customers to order more services without you needing to be involved. It's it's a really a win win. Yeah. So, go ahead, Ted. Yeah, I was going to say, and let's not let's not bury the lead here, right? I mean, one of the big parts is this is for partners, right? So this is actually, you know, Operator Connect has been there, you know, for for quite a while now, and we all know it's been there for the carrier market, right? And and, and carriers uh, can use this. What we're doing, what we've announced here, is actually opening up that up to MSPs, right? And and those people who are potentially being that trusted advisor into to the enterprise space who are selling uh, Microsoft licenses. Well, now you have the ability to actually sell Operator Connect on top of all of the other Microsoft business that you're doing. So it's really opening that up beyond that, beyond that carrier market, beyond that, that the initial kind of um, area that, that uh, Microsoft opened Operator Connect for. Right. Yeah, and let's just be clear to everybody, um, if this is your first time hearing about it, that this is a Scipio exclusive um, offering. This isn't something that Microsoft has brought to market <clears throat> for Operator Connect for partners. Uh, Microsoft has some very, very clear um, rules of engagement, and I think there's a 67-page document that people have to go through in order to get into that, that um, Operator Connect program. Um, so we should talk a little bit about why it's unique to Scipio and how it differs from mm -hmm. uh, a carrier to to a, a partner. Yeah, I mean, let's start right there. Okay. So there are really two main ways to integrate calling into Microsoft Teams. There's direct routing and there's operator connect. Direct routing is you build it a thousand times and you sell each one once. You, you build each customer's connectivity on a one-by-one -one basis. That doesn't scale. Partners deal with the challenges with it. It's loaded with pro services, so customers can't stand it. Operator Connect needs was of kind of envisioned differently, right? Yeah. Yeah, it needs a lot of care and feeding. If Microsoft yeah. updates an API, every single direct routing solution across the globe has to be touched. Yeah. So that, that's yeah. a lot of over a lot of overhead. Yeah, and there's, there's there's definitely a lot more touch points with a direct routing setting up setting up your domain setting you know all that stuff has to happen kind of in that direct routing space as opposed to 
the operator connect where you can push the numbers into into the uh, the team's admin center and they they're there for use you know immediately right be assigned to users yeah so operator connect as it was envisioned, now we'll talk about what actually happened, but mm -hmm. as it was envisioned, it was supposed to be kind of e-commerce, self-service. I'm the Microsoft Teams administrator. I open up the marketplace. I find the provider that I want to buy service from. I go to their uh, landing page or their website. I order my service and presto bango, it's supposed to be ready to go for me. Reality of that is that's not what's happened with the Operator Connect marketplace. Number one, um, you know, Adam has coined the term, it's like a Turkish spice bazaar, because the, the number of operators in that marketplace have just gotten more and more and more. Today's count, I think we're up to what, 70, Ted? 71, I think, this morning. 71, and it's rumored the backlog is in the hundreds. Yeah. So if you're a partner, imagine directing your customer, okay, you want to add Operator Connect? You want to add calling to teams using this faster, easier program? First, you got to go look through all of my competitors to find me. And this is where if, you're, if your business ends with a V or a Z, you're really at a disadvantage because everybody's got to go through the list to get to the bottom, right? And then once they click on the landing page, the experience that most customers get is not what you would expect, right? There's no storefront with pricing and, and you know, click here to build a quote for probably, I'd estimate 90% of the you know the operators in the marketplace yeah, it's a data harvesting five. tool yeah probably up and wait. right fill out your name address phone number shoe size and somebody will get back to you in three to four weeks we we test them out um probably about mm -hmm. once a month and i've yet to see a return ping in less than a three-week period of time so if you're a small business looking for service that's a pretty long it's a pretty long time to wait and think about it on the partner side, you know, so the operator that's in there, this adds a tremendous amount of overhead to deal with the incoming requests. Because now, especially as we scale into SMB and mid market, do you really want your sales rep dealing with the three seat, five seat, 10 seat deals on a, on a bespoke, you know, case by case basis, quoting it out? Automation can become a force multiplier because now I can have, instead of an FTE, pulling that that quantity business in, I can just have automation do it for me. I don't need to necessarily be involved with, you know, the 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 smaller size deals. I can free up my staff to focus on the more strategic uh, leads while we're still hoovering up, you know, the the incoming requests. So Operator Connect, it had a lot of great intentions, but the challenge in the marketplace, in my opinion right now, especially for partners is number one, the idea of having your, your customers navigate through all of your competitors is kind of a challenge. And then, you know, what do you do once you get them? You know, you, if somebody walks in and says hello and you don't respond for, you know, two weeks, where are you on Mars, right? Mm -hmm. Like the return trip time of the data takes that long. Yeah. So we've given, you know, our, our business, we've taken our platform and we've brought it to market in a couple of interesting ways. So for carriers that are in the Operator Connect program, we can actually deploy our application on top of their horsepower. So we can fix that for them. But what Operator Connect for partners does is it takes it and expands this to a whole new universe in the mm -hmm. channel. Because by its name, Operator Connect was only available for operators, i.e. carriers. What about your VARs? What about your MSPs? What about your SIs? What about your trusted advisors? So what we're doing is we're basically saying we've got a better approach to enable that channel to start introducing Teams phone to their customers using the benefits of the Operator Connect platform. It's fast, it's easy, it's flexible using our uh, backend infrastructure. And, and one, of the things that, one of the things that we've added there too, Steve, and I think it's really important uh, for people to, to, to understand is that um, you know, there's a lot of you know, people will say, well, direct routing, it's more secure or direct routing, it's going to allow me to connect up to, say, a contact center or a legacy uh, platform or my analog devices. What we've actually done is we, we've actually, um, you know, utilizing kind of, as you mentioned, our platforms, um, we're actually able to hook uh, an enterprise into Operator Connect 
and still have them have that kind of on net connectivity capability to still go into a contact center. So if you need to connect to, to any, any kind of cloud-based contact center, any premise-based contact center, any legacy-based PBXs, and be in an on-net situation, well, before that used to be, no, no, with Operator Connect, you're either you're in one environment or you're in the other and it's completely separate. Now you don't have to have that. You don't really have to think about that. It's, it's actually all together. You come with Scipio, you get all that kind of um, in, in one package, one bill, you know, you can have that go out to you. Yeah. So Don Marie, when we talk to partners and we, we really kind of show the Scipio difference, to me, it starts with this quote that, um, you know, Adam put into the press release yesterday we exist because of our partner success right. you know they're our lifeblood and you know one of the things that to me sets us apart and having worked in the industry for 12 years and you know seeing a lot of discussions around channel conflict and channel harmony and channel love everybody that says that still says well i do do some of my business direct right it's only this percentage that goes through the channel how much of our business goes through the channel 100% I think we gave our lawyer a seat, maybe two or three for his um, paralegals, uh, but that, that's really that's really it. So 100 percent. It's not always, um, you know, there's different types of channel programs out there like master agent. I mean, technically on a master agent, the paperwork is on Scipio, you know, letterhead, but the partner in that situation is owning and doing the care and feeding and last mile up with their actual customer. We're just helping and enable them from, you know, a billing and a contractual standpoint, because most mm -hmm. individual agents aren't equipped to, aren't equipped to, to, to do that. So I have built my life and career in the channel. I mean, it exists for a reason. I've been a part of so many organizations where the conversation is, should we go direct? Should we stick with the channel? Should we go direct? Should we skip? you know, stick with the channel. I'm like, just stick with the channel. Let's stop debating it. It it just works. And that's where the relationships and the rapport is. It's a lot easier for somebody to trust somebody that they know that they've been doing business with for a lot of years and it's done well by them than to necessarily trust uh, a face at a manufacturer that maybe you've never seen before, or maybe has a lot of turnover. Yeah. I mean, the term trusted advisor gets... Yes used and abused too many times mm -hmm. but i really believe that the partner is the trusted advisor and the reason, the reason for that if you think of what the partner does for the end customer they're creating a meal across the entire it portfolio what we do we're just one ingredient in that preparation any supplier is just one ingredient. You can't necessarily be a trusted advisor as a supplier because there's more of the IT portfolio that you don't touch. The channel partners deliver so much value to their end customers. And having a partner like Scipio who isn't going to go around you, you know, if you bring a lead to us and register it with us, you're not going to have a Scipio sales rep contacting your customer, trying to kind of upsell them to something else or to take your deal from you. The, the statement of your customer is your customer to me is powerful for a partner because I don't have to worry about being, you know, keeping an eye on you guys to make sure that you don't go around me here. Um, yeah. But one and, of the biggest pain points, or go ahead, Ted. I was just going to say, and one of those pieces too, is that, that absolutely your, your, your customers are your customers, right? But um, we do work with you, right? So we work with, uh, we work with our partners. We make sure that, that they're comfortable. They've got everything they need to sell. So my team, you know, is, is, is very close to that. Um, working alongside hand in hand with our partners to make sure that they can be successful. Right. So nobody's while, while it's all about the channel, absolutely all about the channel. We'll never let the channel kind of just sit there and, and flounder. Right. Yeah. Right. It takes a village. I mean, yeah. and that's what our role is here is to enable and onboard. I mean, our sales teams, we call them sales teams. They're not really sales teams. They're really um, channel support, right? Or partner mm -hmm. support. Uh, those guys and gals every single day um, are on the phone all day helping our partners with, you know, how do they put together their go-to-market strategy? How do they learn the value proposition? How do they make that value proposition their own? They're getting in front of their customers 
at their invitation and as you know that partner's guests to help them you know with the um, the presentation and explaining the application and going through the pricing model and talking through what a migration strategy might look like. So we're there all day long. We're just there as the guest and at the invitation of, of that partner to help them with as much of the heavy lifting or as little of it as they're comfortable with and, and need. That's a great that's a great way to plan it. We're a guest in a partner's opportunity. We are. Now, one of the challenges that partners face isn't with the technology, but it's with the the hoops and hurdles that get put up along the way in driving an opportunity from top of funnel all the way through to close. Now, we've addressed some of that with technology. So with Operator Connect for Partners, you've got a fully operational um, CPQ landing page where either your customers can go create their own quotes or your sales reps can use to create quotes in minutes. So now I'm not waiting weeks to, to get a quote in front of the customer. And we've already talked about activation can be done in, you know, in, in a matter of minutes if the customer needs new numbers. But there's more to Scipio and specifically Operator Connect for partners than the technology. Don Marie, can you talk a little bit about how we help the partner, not just with the technology, but actually building a successful business? Yeah. building the funnel and then driving the deals through it and then helping close them. Yeah. Well, you're probably setting me up here a little bit because this is my mantra, my platform that I talk about all the time. I feel like the entire industry around Microsoft um, has gotten too caught up in the what's under the hood. I've had a mini Cooper for 13 years. I can tell you, I think I opened the hood once I have no idea what's under there and how the pieces and parts smart, you know, work together. I just know when I get in it and, you know, put the, put the, the top down and drive to the grocery store that I love it. And I love the um, experience. So what we try to focus on with our partners, both upfront during their um, enablement and their onboarding process. And then afterwards is how are they going to get the word out? How are they understanding what this is? How are they simplifying it? So it's not that old boxes and bodies conversation that, you know, our dads were having about Talca. And how are they making it easier for customers to understand? A lot of customers, you know, the IT department or the telco, you know, folks are retiring out. You're playing golf every day and you're not necessarily finding millennials and Gen Zers that want to or have those skill sets to just replace them. And they've grown up with those devices, you know, in their hands, checking them all day long, Snapchatting this, TikToking that, et cetera. Um, and that's the way that this industry has to go. But you have to market it and you have to make sure that people understand it's simple and they understand the value proposition. Because if you have Snapchat and somebody else has Snapchat, what makes yours better than somebody else's? It's nothing to do with the program. Everybody in Operator Connect had to follow the same 67 page diagram uh, or in document in order to build it. Everyone. And Microsoft's checked everyone. That's how you see this slow rolling of people coming into that that Turkish uh, or Moroccan spice um, bazaar. What differentiates everybody from everybody else? It's you. It's you as the individual, as a trusted advisor. It's your company and, and the position that you're taking and the love that you're giving to your customers. And I think that's more what the focus needs to be on rather than the bits and the bytes, because the bits and the bytes were defined. So I don't know why we just at every event I go to keep talking about that. It, it's painful for me. You know that. <laughs> yeah. So selling the solution, it's an outcome based discussion. It, it's talking to the customer and, and helping them create a permission structure that changes their views from if I need to deliver voice, it needs to be via an on premise phone system or maybe a cloud UCAS service. And getting the think of voice not as something you buy, but as a feature that you turn on in the thing you already own and creating outbound um, marketing campaigns. Because, again, the first step in selling is building that top of stack funnel, you know, building a healthy pipeline for customers to say, all right, let's talk about this. I hear what you're saying. I'm curious. And then to go from there. Now, for partners, Ted, what does Operator Connect look like? for a partner, Operator Connect for Partners. 
to me, it starts with the front door. Yeah. What is the first thing that your customer is going to walk into when you create that interest and then drive it through? Yeah. So, I mean, that, that, it's, a, it's a good point, Steve. So, so really what we want to do is, is and this is, again, this is really about the landing page for the, that, that's built by the partners. What we do is we allow partners to put their information up on, on their landing page and, and fully integrate a uh, quoting tool within their own website environment, within their own business processes, within their own kind of look and feel um, of their web page, they can actually add kind of a full quoting tool. So while Operator Connect for Partners, you're, you're not going to get a tile in the Moroccan, Moroccan Spice Bazaar. You're not going to get- Morocco, Turkey, wherever. Where, right? Wherever, yeah. You're, you're, you're not getting that tile in the Microsoft Teams Admin Center. But you know what? That's not a big deal. Yeah, who needs Again, you? There is 71 there now. There's a hundreds on the backlog. People aren't going to find you there. That is not a marketing pitch. Um, what you want is, is your presence, is, is the things like the marketing you do, the websites you have. That's where they're going to, your customers are going to find you there, right? And, and there you're going to be able to tell your customers, hey, here's what you can get from me. It's out in the open, you know, here you go. You'll be able to order that. Customers will be able to order, uh, set up, and you'll be able to set those customers up all directly from the web. They don't need anything other than to be able to get to your website. We provide you, um, uh, a partner, we provide you uh, with everything you need to, to load in your websites. We have templates. Um, we've got the, you know, when you, when you create uh, products in, in SKUs, you have all the descriptions, you'll have all the resources that require, those will get loaded up onto your website. That, that stuff is, is simple and, and you'll be ready to go once you set up your Operator Connect uh, um, for partners. So Don so, Marie, this landing page yep, for a partner, there are options, right? So yeah. a partner could resell the Scipio branded offering. So they would be driven to a Scipio branded CPQ. That's but we right. also offer partners who want to go a little bit farther an option to white label, correct? That's right. Partners, carriers. We have a lot of carriers today that, that um, white label us because we're here trying to help the carriers create their own partner ecosystem mm -hmm. uh, so that they are putting you know, their wares out there for their own communities but certainly a reseller partner or a system integrator partner um, can go down this road as well so that they can put their marketing efforts together to drive traffic to their website it's amazing when i go through um, the different websites that are out there how many aren't really even talking about voice and if they are they haven't quite nailed the simplicity of it you know, that it's a feature today and not a system. And they're still making it into something harder um, than it needs to it needs to be. Success breeds success. So, you know, going down the path of, of simplicity and, and easy and showing your customers that. I know it's a it's a change or a cutover if you're dependent upon, you know, professional services, but there's all kinds of ways to put other wrappers around um, the Microsoft environment that doesn't have to do with, you know, overcomplicating dial tone. It's dial tone. We, we've had it since we were kids. My mom had an avocado green phone in the kitchen. You know, my happiest Christmas was getting the extra long curly Q cord so that would reach the closet when I wanted to talk to my my friends right that I never worried about if it if it worked I never worried about what server was on the back end I never thought about what's the architecture I never thought about the cloud and is this secure is somebody listening in to me talk about you know the latest Nancy Drew book like I didn't think about any of that and today's modern worker shouldn't have to think about that stuff either because Microsoft's constructed Operator Connect to hit all those checkboxes. Everybody that's in the program has hit the checkboxes. And now it's really figuring out, you know, which of those partners do you want to uh, leverage? Because what else do they do for you to support your business initiatives? Yeah, and that's a good, that's a good point on reliability. You know, and one of the things that makes our platform stand apart from others is the way it was built from the beginning. 
we live in Azure. Um, we, we're next door neighbors with Teams which means unlike some of the others in the space, because there's no shortage of people that can put voice in Teams, but unlike them, we don't have to hop through the Microsoft Azure peering service or Maps, which means the end customer gets better call quality and more reliability because there's fewer hops. You know, so Ted, when we look at, you know, our global footprint, can you talk a little bit about how it stands apart from, you know, others in the space and how partners can take advantage of, you know, this this back end and frankly an intuitive front end yeah. to really kind of simplify their business. Well, yeah, so so one of the things like you mentioned we're in Azure, right? And we're in Azure globally, which means, you know, we are we are kind of hyper meshed uh, SPCs around the uh, around the globe with uh, within uh, the Azure data centers. Everything is everything is uh, is fully uh, redundant and resilient. So when we when we have you know our carrier connections, which which we allow our, our partners to to leverage, those come into multiple data centers. Those run across data centers, and and um, it basically allows us to to carry that that five nine carrier grade um, uh, stamp of approval. And and we know that that while you know. We're five nines, but but teams themselves don't don't ride themselves as five nines. But we didn't want to stop and say, well, we're just only going to be as good as, right? We wanted to be, we're the carrier, right? I mean, in this case, we're the carrier. So we've engineered and set ourselves up to to be at that at that five nines and above, right? Um, to to ensure that you're not going to have a challenge with um, you're not going to have a challenge with your the carrier side, the dial tone, like like uh, like Don Marie was mentioning. You're not going to have a challenge with that because we're not only serving teams; we we, we do serve other other aspects of it. So as mm -hmm. I was mentioning earlier, you may have teams, but you may also have legacy PBX. You may also connect to a contact center, and just because one of those areas might not be working, doesn't mean that they all shouldn't be working. And so, you know, we want to make sure that 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 dial tone is there. When, when it can be, that dial tone is absolutely there. So, so one of the things of I want to add, Go ahead, back Ted. To, back to one of the things Don Marie was mentioning earlier. We call this Operator Connect for partners. It's also meant for all of our partners, right? So we've right. got carrier partners, we've got MSPs, we've got resellers, we've got um, distributors. It's for all partners. We've been talking to carriers about this and their capability because as, as Steve was mentioning, there, there are... Um, there's a backlog of hundreds of, of carriers that are not in yet. And if carriers want to come and leverage Operator Connect for Partners, they can, right? They can do the same thing. They can leverage our, our quoting systems in their websites. They can leverage our APIs. They can leverage all of it, you know, just like any other partner can, just like a reseller can, an MSP can. So I think it's, a, it's an important point as well. So it's an interesting segue for me. Because one of the interesting things about the Scipio platform is that we can offer service in over 70 countries. So wherever your customer needs phone numbers, chances are we can get them for you. But you mentioned carriers. Now, carriers are going to want to use their own service, right? Absolutely. But not all of them can offer service in all of those countries. So, Don Marie, can, can a carrier use the Scipio network to augment their gaps to create a more complete solution for the end customer? Yeah, most carriers are very um, tied to a specific geography, um, and anybody that, like us, is showing an expanded uh, geography that, that's more global in nature, you know, you're aggregating those services. But a true, you know, tier one grade uh, carrier like an AT&T or Verizon or, or whomever, they've got their footprint in the U.S. and they're using somebody else outside of U.S. if they're providing services there. So any carrier can utilize our um, global provider network. And that's one of the advantages in addition to the platform and the application that carriers have and being able to bundle that up and, and white label it, check all the Microsoft boxes, get through that certification you know, program quickly and easily uh, is, is that augmentation um, that we provide. Nobody knows. Again, it's dial tone. Sounds the same if I'm here or if I'm in Morocco, it's dial tone. Yeah. So carriers can use our platform as much as they want or as little as they want, wherever they need it. 
And that's really where the flexibility of our fast, easy, flexible platform comes in. But the most important part to me, if we think about Operator Connect for partners, talking to a partner, how much am I going to earn selling this? And how is it, you know, okay, it's an easier sale because I'm not trying to displace something. I'm, I'm talking to a customer about making their existing solution work better. Right. It's right. it's a sale that's more in demand. Teams is growing 45%, whereas I think Ring Central just announced they're in their latest earnings, they're growing at about 11%. So it's a, it's a faster growing market, but it's also a much more lucrative space to be in. You know, with, with our partners, when we compare against industry leaders, selling Scipio is easier, it's a more in-demand solution, and it's way more lucrative. You know, just doing some basic d data modeling based off of what we know uh, the rates are in the marketplace for commissions, our partners can earn anywhere from 30 to 50% more selling Scipio to customers that want to turn on Teams phone instead of trying to, you know, sell a cheeseburger to somebody that just needs a slice of cheese, right? right? Somebody's got Teams already deployed. They've got Zoom already deployed because that's one thing we haven't really talked about here is this works with Zoom too. Being able to sell those services to talk to that customer about voice is no longer a platform that you buy, but a feature that you turn on. You can actually make a really healthy margin doing this. And this comes right. back to our spirit. Partners are our lifeblood we exist to your success is our success. Right. So this, I think, is the, the latest proof point or the last proof point um, to kind of put a pin right into that is you earn more with us as well. That's right. Yeah, and we're not trying to displace or say that there's not a role for professional, you know, or consultative services. There absolutely That's a great is. Point. Absolutely. But there's so many things, right? You could get your customer to spend that money on investigating AI and how they would use that in their business or something, you know, that's more strategic than just enabling dial tone services, you know, spend your, spend your hard earned dollars wisely and use it for things that contribute to the bottom line and grow your own revenue. You know, don't spend it to build your own phone service internal to your organization. Phones have been around since the 1800s at this point. I think we've, we've got it, we've got it down. Yeah. I mean, the implementation costs, even with a cloud service blows the mind. Cause it's like, what are we, why am I paying for implementation? The stuff's already running in the cloud. Right, exactly. You yeah. know, but for a partner, not having to take our, you know, the suppliers pro services, mark them up, it creates more room for them to position their pro services that surround, you know, this deployment. So not everybody wants to be crawling around desks, plugging in phones. So you can do <laughs> training, you can do uh, on-site phone setup, you can do a whole host of other services that are around. And it gives you the ability to grow your margins even farther than what we just showed there. So right. I, I just want to say thank you guys, or Ted, you had one last comment? I was comment. just going to say, it lets you go up the value chain, right? It lets you go to those pro services that that are really, are going to be providing absolute value to, to your customers, things like contact centers and things like that, that need to get set up. Those things work the bottom line for the customers as well, and they will see the value of those. So, yeah. All right. Wonderful. Yeah, so Dahmer, I, you have anything you want to close yeah, with? I just leave everybody with um, if you don't believe it, come try it. We'll show it to you. Um, most partners say to me exactly what my husband has to say to me every day. You were right. You were right. You were right. <laughs> I think he's in the other room, so I'm making sure he can hear that. But yeah, come try it. Come talk to us. We'd love to dialogue with you about your business model, what you're trying to do, and and help you, you know, to get there in a quick and easy manner. And take advantage of where the marketplace is, is going and kind of modernize the, uh, the offers that you have. Yeah. And if you're using teams and you haven't turned on teams phone, visit Scipio.io slash operator dash connect. And I think we'll put the URL out and just sign up for a trial. See how fast it is to get the trial up and running and seeing is believing to Don Marie's point. Yeah. So Ted, Don Marie, I want to thank you both for joining me today. I'm really excited about this opportunity for our partners to have a program to help them grow their business on the bedrock, the stability of monthly recurring revenues in a much easier, faster, and flexible way. Um, so with that, please visit us online at Scipio.io to learn more about uh, what we do and how we can help you succeed in this marketplace. Yeah. Have a great day. Thanks. Thanks. Bye, Thanks everybody. Thanks, Steve. Thanks, Audrey.